पवित्रम चरितम यस्या पवित्रम जीवनम तथा पवित्रता स्वरूपिण्य तस्यै दिव्यै नमो नमः जननीं शारदां देवीं रामकृष्णं जगद्गुरुं पादपद्मे तयोषित्वा प्रणमामि मुहूर्मुहु मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड स्वामी गौतमानंद जी महाराज स्वामी मुक्तिदानंद जी स्वामी विमुर्तानंद जी मिस्टर काम कोटी जी अदर रिस्पेक्टेड मॉन्स ब्रह्मचारी इज प्रेजेंट हियर माता जी ऑफ शारदा मठ मदर्स सिस्टर्स ब्रदर्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक दैट इज बीन गिवन इज संग जननी माँ शारदा देवी इन फैक्ट दिस नेम वॉज गिवन बाई स्वामी विवेकानंद हिमसेल्फ ही टोल्ड शारदा देवी इज संग जननी This Ram Krishna order was given birth by Holy Mother Sharda Devi, and she nurtured it till she was alive, and she is still nurturing it in a subtle way as on today. After some time, you have to have a little patience. After some time, you are going to have nice meal. Surely, we all the monks will also enjoy nice meal. you also will have nice prasad only because of holy mother sharda devi remember as on today annapurna ji annapurna sharda devi is ruling the sangha if shri ram krishna was ruling he would have made kota two chapatis three chapatis like he made dakshineshwar bavuram four chapatis raja so many chapatis and then she, he asked sharda he asked them how many chapatis you took Two more, three more. What? He scolded Sharda Devi. You are spoiling my children. They will do tapasya at night, and you are feeding him, feeding them so much. Sharda Devi. She is the supreme court of Ram Krishna Sangha. She said, in matters of eating, you should not interfere. I am the mother. I will decide how much they will take. My children will take full food. I am mother. i cannot remain without that then shri ram krishna said who will take the responsibility of their spiritual progress holy mother said i will take the responsibility by finish matter finish shri ram krishna can't say anything now so as on today also holy mother is ruling you know 150th birth anniversary there was a youth convention at belumat and about 10000 youth all india youth convention had come and one of the students asked swami ji talked about simple life and you all monks are enjoying good life what is the matter why you are not following swami ji i replied we are not following swami ji and we are not following ram krishna in matters of eating we follow sharda devi and she is ruling our order so she wants to take us good food and then i told that young man why don't you come and nice food with us you also join the ram krishna sangha because this is open to all irrespective of caste creed color religion nationality anybody can join you come and join and enjoy but of course you have to get up early morning then you will do the relief work you will have to do 24 hour relief that also you should be ready <laughs> so anyway sharda devi is the supreme boss here in this ram krishna sangha as on today i'll give you some examples then it will be clear you know how she gave birth to ramkrishna sangha you know that when she went to bodhgaya in 1890 and there she saw a mat in which the monks were living very nice arrangement of food and their accommodation then holy mother wept and prayed to shri ramkrishna here they are having so much nice arrangement and my children are going be begging do begging from door to door begging their food and she told who sever gives up his heart and home and renounces in your name they should those people those children those of my own children who are who have renounced the heart they should not suffer from any want of good food and good clothes and good living that particular prayer 
is still acting. Sometimes when we go by train, every station some items are coming from the devotees. I think now Holy Mother will have to pray again. These sadhus are getting fatter, very much fat. So reduce that food. <laughs> but it is because of the prayer of Holy Mother that today we are enjoying, you devotees are enjoying, monks are enjoying because one devotee was asked, whom do you like most between the three? Sri Ramakrishna, Sharda Devi, Swami Vivekan. He said, I like all the three. I love all the three. But who is the most lovable? Sarada Devi. <laughs> Why? Because when I go to Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna says, hey, you have taken humor birth. The goal of human life is to practice austerities and have God relation. Practice austerities. Practice, practice, spiritual practice. Go on doing spiritual practice. Japa meditation, Japa meditation. And when I go to Swami Vivekananda, Work, 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 work unto death. And if you die, I will be very happy. <laughs> but when I go to Holy Mother, Holy Mother says, my dear child, please eat nicely. <laughs> so I like that Holy Mother. So Holy Mother gave birth to Ramakrishna Sangha. She nurtured it, still nurturing it. Any type of problem coming to the Sangha, the she who faced these problems, who solved these problems and she was the supreme authority, supreme boss in our Sangha. I will give you one example. First of all, Swami Vivekananda, when he went to World's Parliament religion in Chicago, before that he was in two minds, whether he should go or not. And you know, I am coming from Gujarat. There is a connection between Gujarat and Madras. I will tell you the connection. When Swami Vivekananda went to Gujarat, maximum period he spent in Gujarat during his Parivaraja days, and Limri Maharaja Yeshwan Siji was the first Maharaja to, to suggest to him that you should go to the West. And Shankar Pandurang Pandit, the administrator of Porbandar, was one of the first persons to ask him to go to the West. Not only that, Swamiji, when you go to the West, you will need to know French. I will teach you French. And Swamiji learned French in Porbandar. And for the first time, Swami Vivekan heard about the worst parliament region Chicago that was in Gujarat. While he was traveling from Junagadh to Porbandar, at night he had to stay in the railway station, Jetalsar railway station. The assistant station master of Jetalsar railway station, that was Har Govindas Ajramar Pandya, who told, gave the information about the world parliament regions that was to be held in Chicago next year. First information he got there. Then afterwards, normal, the, the idea got nurtured. Then when he came to Madras, Ala Singha Penuman and other young, young people, they also told you should go to the west, you should go to parliament religion. Then Ramrada Maharaj, Ramnath Maharaja, Mysur Maharaja, they helped a little, Khetri Maharaja helped. You know, all these things are later on. But first information he received in Gujarat and then the idea took concrete shape in Madras. But he was still in two minds, whether it is his own wish or it is the divine will. So he was waiting, waiting, praying and they collected some money. Swamiji said, I do not know whether it is my will or divine will. No, distribute that money among the poor people. He did not, he did not uh, decide, decide finally. One day, he had a dream. Sri Ramakrishna, he saw in the dream Sri Ramakrishna walking over the ocean and telling him to come behind him, summoning him to come behind him. So he could understand Sri Ramakrishna wants me to go beyond the ocean to preach Sanatana Dharma. But still, he has to get the clearance from the Supreme Boss, that is Holy Mother Sharda Devi. So he wrote a letter to Sharda Devi that this is what I have decided and I want your blessing and your permission. Holy Mother Sharda Devi, how can she give permission? Because that time going out of the ocean means going out for together, for once for all. Very difficult to come back. But she got a vision, similar vision, Sri Ramakrishna is going. And Sri Ramakrishna told, a letter will come from Naren. Don't say no, tell yes. And then 
So when the letter came, Sharath, Sharath Maharaj told this letter I have received from Swamiji and Holy Mother said, you write, yes, he can go, my blessings are with him. And when that letter came to Madras, Swami took up that letter on his head and started dancing. Oh, permission from Mother has come, so I am going, so I am going, so I am going. So final decision of going to parliament religion was made in Madras when he received the letter from Holy Mother Sharda Devi. So that is why Holy Mother Sharda Devi is the supreme boss. Two more incidents, then I have to close because you are all very hungry. So, and we have to receive the blessings of Gautama Ji Maharaj. Only two, two more. There are so many incidents, but I will confine myself to two incidents that will tell you how Holy Mother is the supreme boss in Ramakrishna order. Once what happened? In 1898, there was a plague in Calcutta and people were leaving Calcutta. So, Swami Vivekananda immediately came back from Darjeeling and sent a circular. Nobody should leave. We are going to start relief work in a big way. He already made a declaration. And the Guru Bhai's brother disciple said, Swamiji, you have made a declaration, but where is the money? No donation is coming. Swami Vikas said, what is there? No problem. We have purchased this land of Belumat. After 20 years of struggle, Belumat land was available. 12 years of struggle. This land, he said, we will sell away. Because we are monks, we can live under the tree. We can live under the sky, under the tree. But these people, I cannot see their suffering. We will sell that Belumat land and we will do the relief work. Now the brother disciples got very much anxious. If Belumat land is gone, means Ramakrishna Sangha is gone. Because that is the headquarter. What to do? Now nobody can tell anything to Swamiji because he is, he is Shiva Avatar. <laughs> when he becomes Rudra Avatar, Rudra Avatar, nobody can talk to him. So what to do? When he shows it. So then, then they went to Holy Mother Sharda Devi. Then Holy Mother Sharda Devi called them. He said, Naren, I heard that you are doing like, yes, mother. I cannot see their suffering. We can live under the tree. But I have thought of selling this land and doing the relief work because donation is not coming. Holy Mother said, you see, you are all my children. You can, of course, stay under a tree. And you can have hardships. But this Sangha is not for today. It will go on for hundreds and thousands of years. And my other children will come as bombs. And they will not be able to stay under a tree. They will require, you know, they know, they knew monks like me are coming, will be coming. <laughs> so monks like me will be coming. See, mothers are new. They want to have time to time food and nice, thing, nice arrangement of sleeping. So, Holy Mother knew that, so she told Swamiji, my other children who will come in future will not be able to undergo that type of austerity and this Sangha is not for 10 years or 20 years, it will go on for thousands of years. And you are talking about one relief, there will be hundreds of great relief will be done, so many relief work will be done by Ramakrishna Mission in future. And you see how many relief work have been done by Holy Mothers, this one. So, and second thing, Ramakrishna said, she is Saraswati, Sharada. Saraswati, Sharada, unlettered. When my money order comes, she has to give this thumb impression, Angutha Shap. And Mother Sri Ramakrishna is Saraswati, she is goddess of learning. How is it possible? But just imagine, Sharada Devi brought out a legal point. Naren, does this land belong to you? No, Mother, I have already made a deed. And I have met the trustees. Have you consulted the trustees? Then Swamiji said, no, no, I have not consulted the trustees. Trustees have met me and they are not <laughs> they agreeing with this idea of selling of the land. How can you sell the land without consulting the trustees? And Swami Vikan said, I acknowledge my mistake. And he had to give in and Belumat land was saved. This is the way. Otherwise, that day Swamiji would have sold the land because Supreme Boss was there, Sharda Devi, she shaved this land. That is why we will have nice food after some time. Huh? We will all have, monks will have nice food, devotees will have nice food, all due to Sharda Devi. Last, there was a big problem that came up with Ramakrishna Mission. And that is, on December 11, 1916, Lord Carmichael, 
the govern or uh, governor of bengal at that time you know governor of bengal means bengal was the capital of whole of british india so he was the supreme authority the governor of bengal made a speech in that speech he said that all the revolutionaries are joining ram krishna mission and ram krishna mission is becoming uh, dangerous for the british government something like that he gave the remark and these adverse remarks because of these adverse remarks what happened people came to ram to swami sharda ji general secretary that you must drive out all those revolutionaries who have joined as monks because otherwise the either the whole ram krishna mission will be banned or people will not come forward to give donation thinking it will be dangerous so immediately we must drive out the revolutionaries who have joined ram krishna mission Swami Sharda Devi was not willing, but there was no other alternative. So he came to Madhi Sharda Devi that we have to take a very bitter decision. These all these tall words who have joined, but because they were revolutionary at some period of the time, the government has got bad eye on us. So we have to drive them out. Holy Mother, what did is what she 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 say? The Supreme Boss, no, they will not be driven out, and then. she made a very simple suggestion why don't you go to and meet the governor and explain our activities and tell her tell him that we have come nothing to do with politics at one stage they were doing but now they have come in the name of sri ramkrishna they have renounced everything and they are doing only service activities for the good of humanity why don't you go and explain so swami sharda ji the general secretary at the time of ramkrishna mission went and then he met the but very difficult to get the appointment of the governor at that time so he met the secretary the secretary made an appointment appointment and then sardana ji maharaj met the governor first time in the history the british government the governor of the british government made an apology written apology to ram krishna mission can you imagine so i will i will i will like to put before you exact wordings of the letter written by lord carmichael lord carmichael wrote to swami shardanand ji on 26 march that is 1917 1917 just after 8 months dear sir thank you for having come to see me and for the trouble you have taken to tell me about the origin of the ramkesh mission and its aims and objects i read with great interest the memorial which the mission authorities submitted to one to to me some time ago i regret very much you see the word i regret very much to hear that words used by me at the darbar hall in in dhaka last regarding in december last regarding the mission should have led in any way to the curtailment of the good religious social and educational work the mission has been doing and is doing as you and i know realize my object was not to condemn the character of the mission's work which is entirely non political i know the character of the mission's work is entirely non political and i have heard nothing but good of its work of social for the people at large yours very sincerely lord carmichael just imagine the letter written by the governor apology asking for an apology for the adverse remark that he had made this was because holy mother sharda devi told sardar sor sardar nanji to meet the governor and this is the result so holy mother sharda devi is the supreme boss here and continues to guide the uh, our order holy sangha she is the sangha janani nursing us giving us good food even today and also also helping us to come out of the problems one cook was driven away from belumath by swami vivekananda himself because he had stolen some money so he said no thief should come stay here what to do supreme boss sarada devi he went to sarada devi and so mother mother i have got whole household my family members will die if this job is not given to me if i have lost my job that time baburam maharaj prami prebanaji had come to udbodan 
So mother said, go, take this cook with you. You people do not, you are monks, you do not know what are the difficulties involved in a householder's job, household's family. So you go and take him back in the, in the job. Babu Ram Maharaj said, my God, Swami Vivekananda has driven him out. Holy Mother said, tell Swami Vivekananda, tell Naren, I have sent him. Then Babu Ram Maharaj could not say anything. And as soon as he entered with that cook from the main gate, Swami Vivekan cried, See, this Babu Ram, again he has brought that cook. See him. But when Babu Ram had told, Holy Mother has sent and told that he should be given back his job. Swami Vivekan was silent and he was taken back to his job. Holy Mother is the supreme boss. She is the Sangha Janani. So, let us pray to Holy Mother Sharda Devi. Mother, you are so kind, compassionate, always looking after us. Let us have a little devotion towards her and may we also get, along with good food, some real bhakti towards you, devotion at your lotus feet and fulfill the purpose of our life. Thank you very much.